Welcome back into the show. Time to have a little bit of fun. Millions of Americans will fire up the grill this 4th of July weekend to celebrate the birth of our country. And in honor of America's 247th birthday, we're judging some classic 4th of July cookout food items. We're going to rate them on a scale of 1 through 5 bald eagles, 5 being the best, and, you know, 1 you can do without. We begin with the burger. Robert Spetto, what, you, what do you rate the burger? Well, I, I, okay, we're going to set precedent. I'm going to say four out of five. I would go, probably go five out of five, but I'm not sure what else is on this list. But it, it's just, it's a So it's you're a saying that like bacon or barbecue sauce mm. or like sort of the burgers that they put the cheese inside the, oh. the burger, like that could get you up to five bald eagles? I mean, come on. I, I don't keep this figure for, for nothing here. We have to add those extra layers in there. So what do you Fair. think? I'm going five bald eagles, mm. but I would go up to six with the aforementioned bacon and cheese inside Ooh. the meat. Yeah. Yeah, All yeah, right. Yeah. Your, your boy likes burgers. Uh, hot dogs. What do you rate a hot dog? Oh, okay. So I think uh, this is a five out of five. Only because hot dog is just so America. Like burgers, you can find anywhere in the world, but hot dogs, <laughs> that's our thing. Well, that's, except for Germany, where they like had like Munichness and all that stuff. And and just, those are sausages. Oh, pardon. <laughs> Although sausage also fantastic. <laughs> I'm gonna give hot dogs a four out of five. But y'all at home don't know about White Hots. That's a Rochester thing. Mm. White Hots, instant five bald eagles. Oh, you're just getting the garbage plate territory there. <laughs> garbage plate, also a five bald eagle thing. They're not being rated. However, uh, potato salad. Oof. All right. Um, that is a good staple, but I just don't think it has like the barbecue nature of it. Of course it is. It's, it's something you take to kind of give people. They're like If you want to partake in the, the you, you get where I'm going with this. Um, Giving is think? caring. I, I would rate this a canary, uh, personally. I wouldn't even put it on a bald eagle scale yeah. myself. You know, anyone who likes potato salad, power to you. More for you, less for me. That's fine. Um, you know, now, ice cream. <laughs> Six bald eagles. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got you to have a way to just keep cool after you have a nice burger. So. Sure. Yeah, What's your favorite going. kind of ice cream? My favorite kind of ice cream. I got to think about this. What about you? Um, I think vanilla is the most able to be added topping wise without throwing things off mm. uh vanilla soft serve fantastic however i'm gonna go mint chocolate chip would probably be my favorite mm. i think anything like um sherbet is that's why i like that Ooh, yeah. sherbet's Ooh. a good yeah, Ooh, yeah. Good sherbet's a really good one too all right beans beans the magical fruit the more you eat the more you robert what do you rate these <laughs> it's still kind of low on it i get if you got bacon mixed in there oof, all day uh, but just straight up baked beans, we're, uh, we're going to probably go one or two on it. There is a theme here. Bacon makes everything better. Mm, uh, also, back in Top Chef, uh, way back when, they did a bacon-flavored ice cream, combining all of the worlds. This is science right here for you. So just Science with Spetta. Mm -hmm. Food with Richie. We're back after this. <laughs> Bye.